Hi everyone, welcome to Seattle Coffee Gear's instructional video on the E61 tune-up kit. Uh, the E61 brew head is on a number of different machines and it's essentially everything that you're seeing from this drain right here all the way to this top nut. You'll see it on rocket machines like you do here or older ECM machines, uh, some quick mill machines obviously, and Alex Duetto. Things that you'll see uh, as an indicator to let you know that you need to tune up your brew head uh, would be if you're, you're seeing uh, while you're pulling a shot water pouring over the top of your of your porta filter or maybe even some coffee uh, other things that you'll notice are maybe you're hearing your pump working a lot louder like you're, you're hearing it kind of struggle a little bit that's because it's having it's having to go through your screen uh, there's more resistance in your screen due to all the coffee residue that's left behind um, another indicator could be if your coffee is just generally tasting off that could be because your screen also has so much residue that it's affecting the taste of your shots and you're, you're not really able to distinguish the taste from, uh, from bean to bean or roast to roast. The things that are included in the tune-up kit uh, are your brew head gasket, your shower screen, and in one of the kits you'll find a spacer. Uh, and you'll also receive a D-scale solution and D-scale instructions. The tools you'll need are, are two flathead screwdrivers. I say two because uh, one is just kind of used for prying your screen out and you're going to want that tip to be relatively thin uh, so it can get in the groove of your shower screen. Um, and the other flathead screwdriver should be a little thicker uh, because the flathead groove for your diffuser uh, is pretty wide. Um, so you'll, you'll want to use a flathead screwdriver with a little bit of a wider surface towards the end. Um, you're probably wondering why one of the kits has a spacer and one of them does not. Uh, one of the things that happens on the E61 brew head, uh, which is made out of, it's, it's brass, but it's, uh, it's got a chrome plating, uh, so that's relatively pretty soft. Uh, something that you'll notice over time is that these, these ears, what I call the portafilter ears, uh, they'll, they'll start wearing away from all that metal-on-metal -metal friction. Um, and the, you know, the more that happens, the more space is in there. And eventually what you'll notice is, maybe you already have if you've had your E61 brew head for a while, is that it's no longer lining up straight at you. It's kind of going farther and farther and farther over to the right um, as, the longer you've had the machine or the more that you've used it. Um, and what's actually happening there is the brass is wearing down. You might even see like a gold color here where the brass is actually exposed and all the chrome plating is gone. That's very common and should not affect your machine whatsoever. But in order to get around that, uh, eventually you'll need to start using an 8.5 brew head gasket. All E61 brew heads, as far as we know here, come with an 8 millimeter gasket. And like I said, eventually there's, you're going to need to fill up that gap more with an 8.5 brew head gasket. Uh, so that's why in the, we have this 8 millimeter gasket. In this kit, we have a, a 0.5 millimeter spacer. So if you do purchase the eight millimeter gasket kit um, and you realize you get the whole thing installed and you go to seal your porter filter and it's still going too far to the right, that's a good indicator to let you know that you actually need an 8.5 millimeter gasket. But you can still utilize the whole kit that you bought instead of returning it by using a spacer, uh, by putting that at the top edge of your uh, gasket, which we'll go into. Um, between the top edge of the portafilter. The, the spacer won't affect the taste of the coffee or anything at, at all. It's just paper. Uh, it's very common in commercial settings because they run into this all the time. So let's now go into how to actually remove the gasket and screen from your E61 brew head. Okay, we kind of changed the view here so we can go over um, taking out your existing parts in depth with a clearer view. Um, before we go over that, I want to point out that you can clearly see um, the wear and tear that the portafilter has done on the group head here. The chrome plating is, has started to go away um, and you can start to see the brass, which is, like I said, you got to look out for that to, so you're aware of whether or not you A, need to use the spacer in the 8 millimeter kit, or B, just need to purchase the 8.5 millimeter kit. Okay, so now let's take out our screen and you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to do that. Um, take a good look at the outside edge of your screen, you're gonna see a little lip there. And that is exactly what you want to focus on in terms of removing your screen. And all you're gonna do is place the tip of your flathead screwdriver in that groove 
and, and get a little leverage on the inside of the brew head and start pulling down, prying down. As you can see, I'm, I'm already starting to free the screen and the brew head gasket from the upper part of the brew head. I'm gonna come around on this side to prevent it from kind of buckling up on that side. I'm just putting my thumb here because it could fall down at any moment. Let's see here, there we go, there's a big part and I think we just need one more here and this should come free. Let's see here, there we go. Yeah, that's just about free, I'm gonna pull, there we go. Wow, and you can totally see how dirty this is. Let's take a good look at this. So we have our gasket on our screen here. Look at all this coffee right here. You can clearly see, see where the seal was being made with your portafilter. And look at the inside of that screen. There's, I mean, I've seen it a lot worse than this. Your pump shouldn't have to struggle through this, but this machine was in need of a new screen for sure. Um, you know, it was just a matter of time before this has started affecting the pump. Uh, so this was a good time to do a tune-up on this particular machine. And now that that's out, we now can see our diffuser right here in the middle, which looks like it's been removed before. You can see the soft brass. You can see that it's kind of exposed there. So I'm going to put this uh, screwdriver right in the middle there, start going lefty-loosey, counterclockwise, and our diffuser starts to come free here. There aren't too many threads. I'm actually going to do the rest by hand here. And this is very dirty. That should be brass. It should be shiny. It's obviously gone through a lot. This isn't part of the tune-up kit, but we sell them on our website. So if you feel like you want a new one, just visit the Seattle Coffee Gear website. Um, that's, you shouldn't need to replace this very often at all, though. Uh, what you're going to want to do is soak this in either very hot water or kefiza. Um, you can see all the buildup of coffee residue around this. Um, so while you're doing, while you're cleaning this brew head out, which you're going to want to do thoroughly as well, you're going to want to be soaking your diffuser in uh, kefiza-based water uh, or just hot water in general and give it a good cleanup. Now you can also see all the coffee residue up here. You're going to want to, uh, some people, some customers have had a lot of success just with an old toothbrush and hot water and kind of getting up there and getting as much of that out of there as you can. Other customers have told us uh, they have a lot of success with a, a small attachment to their vacuum because uh, there, there are just loose grounds up here. I don't know if you can see them there, but I can see them up here. Uh, so you're going to want to get this as clean as you can because that's going to affect the life of your new brew head gasket a lot. The, the, the coffee grounds are very acidic, um, so if those are left in there, it's just going to immediately start eating away uh, slowly but surely at your brew head gasket. Now that you have your brew head gasket, your shower screen, and your diffuser removed, uh, let's go through the installation process. Now, for the purpose of filming and to give you viewers a clear idea of exactly what's going on, we've actually removed an entire E61 brew head here. So, after this is all cleaned, we're going to want to put our diffuser back, get it as clean as you can because that's important. And we're going to just get that back on there and only finger tighten it. You don't want to tighten this too much. Uh, it's made out of brass. It's very soft. If you eventually have to take this off and use a lot of force, there's a good chance you could strip that flathead screwdriver path. Okay, so we, we got that on there now. And now comes the fun part. You know, this should come assembled for you. Uh, you have your gasket and you have your screen. The gasket goes right around the screen. There's a lip at the top of that screen for it to just sit at. And that's where you want that sitting. And it's important that as you're putting this in, you're not just pushing one side. You're going to want to slowly push from all sides to prevent it kind of from buckling on one. See, I kind of already got this buckled on this side. But slowly but and surely, you'll notice that that gasket will go up into that groove. And now I'm going to get this flathead screwdriver and really start forcing the, the gasket into that groove. Slowly go all the way around. And eventually, the way you can really get this gasket in place is by actually using your portafilter. That will push up everything at the same time. Let me take another good look at this. And we're almost there. This is almost all the way in before we really test it with our portafilter. And it will be interesting to see here where our portafilter lines up when we make that first seal. So let's try to do it right now. We are now ready 
to kind of test this installation. It's always going to be a little harder the first time. Let's see here. We're just about there. You can see these ears with the groove. I can see how close it is. It actually might be easier for you guys at home when the E61 is sitting with the entire weight of the machine rather than what I got going here. It's really, really, really close. There we go. So like I said, it is, it is really tight. I can tell that I'm now going all the way around. I'm going to go to all the way to six o'clock here. <laughs> there we go. So that's, I mean, this is a brand new E61. So that's why it's kind of harder to install this. As you can see, I'm still not directly aligned at six o'clock. But like I said, that's just because the brass on this porta filter and the brew head have not been worn down at all. You might find it a lot easier. I'm gonna actually take this back off, there we go. And now I know our brew head gasket is fully installed. Cause I just took that porta filter, took it all the way to six o'clock and it was hard to get there. Um, if you're ever noticing, you know, you can't go that far and you know you have an older E61 brew head, that's probably because you don't have it. You're going to need to go around and push that brew head gasket further towards the top. And as you can see, that took a lot of elbow grease and different angles. You're going to have to get creative. Don't be afraid of hurting the actual gasket with something like that. It's very durable. As long as you don't start stabbing it, if you're just using the edge, you can kind of push down on that and eventually it will fall into place. And that's pretty much the entirety of uh, the installation for our E61 tune-up kit. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at seattlecoffeegear.com or give us a call.